Does Sam McCall regain consciousness? Not yet, but her vitals are stable. <sighs> Patrick and I are about to examine Sam. I just want you to know we're going to do everything we can to pull her through. I'll let you know Sam's condition as soon as I have news for you. I'll be here. Just, just help her, please. How is she? She's maintaining blood pressure and pulse. No signs of internal bleeding. She might have a cerebral edema or a brain bleed. Wouldn't be surprising because of the force of the explosion. I'm gonna put a rush on those labs. Good, every minute counts. Is she waking up? Yeah, it looks like it. Go ahead, talk to her. Can you hear me? Can you wake up? I'm right here. Oh, thank God. I'm so, um, I'm just so worried. About you now that you're, you're awake. I just can't tell you how happy I am. disoriented. Sam, you're in the hospital. Just try and relax and let us help you. It's okay, I'm right here. Sam, are you feeling any pain? Sam, can you tell us what's wrong? I can't hear you. We need to find out the extent of the injuries. This should help with the communication gap. Sam, not uncommon with a concussion. But this doesn't explain the hearing loss. She was in an enclosed area when the blast occurred. She could be dealing with brain damage from the blunt force trauma. But given there's no evidence of a brain bleed on the scans, the hearing loss could be temporary. When we know for sure? I'm going to call in a specialist. We'll get some answers. We'll be back. Between the bus crashes and the car bombs, I think it's just a little too much stress for all of us. So how about we agree no more, okay? Hey, Alexis. I don't have any illusions about you not working for Sunny anymore. It's just that Sam I'm Sam can't able... hear you. Sam can't hear anything. It's a residual effect from the blast. I called in a specialist to pinpoint the cause of Sam's hearing loss and whether or not we can expect it to return. In the meantime, we're going to move her to her own room and monitor her. As a precaution, are you going to look into it, see if there's anything else going on? We're going to keep a very close eye on Sam, make sure there's no further complications. Excuse me. Robin. Christina, back up. What happened? I was helping her out of bed, and then she just collapsed. Her heartbeat steady. Her being peaceful. You know, maybe she had a she didn't say anything, and that could lead to, like, a blood clot. She might have just fainted, Christina. Just try and relax. We're going to run some tests. Can I get a gurney in here? Hey, no, no, no. Hey, stay there. Stay there. I'm dizzy. Dizzy? Okay. How's your head? Your head hurt? Mm-mm. -mm. No? No. No headache? Are you sure? What happened? She was trying to get up and I helped her and she just passed out. Well, she could have simply just fainted. We're not sure yet. Oh, but why? And did she hit her head? She's been lying in bed for a couple days in a prone position. Damage to her ears both affect her equilibrium. She could have simply tried to get up and fell. All right, so it's not an indication of something more serious, right? Well, it could be. I'm fine. Sam, can you hear anything? No? Nothing. Okay. We're going to run some tests. We're going to start with an MRI. 
Make sure she doesn't get up again, okay? We'll take good care of her, Christine. Let's move. <clears throat> we'll just no, no, go. No, no. Wait a minute. I'm fine. All right, well, we'll just wait here. Any headaches? Nope. No. Nausea? No. What about any confusion? No, more than usual. Uh -huh. Any dizziness? <laughs> no. No, okay. Good. And uh, you understand what I'm saying. Understand you can put sentences together and everything else. We are having this conversation, yes, aren't we? Yes, we are, Sam, but I'm also a neurosurgeon and I get obsessive about things like that, so bear with me. Any ringing in your ears? Oh, yeah, actually a little bit. It's sort of, um, it's like a, a, like a buzz, like a, like a feedback from a mic. It's kind of okay. getting better, though. Okay, good. Um, well, it's amazing you survived the explosion with only concussion and temporary hearing loss. I'm going to be okay? It looks like that, but I don't want to push our luck. So, no walking around the hospital. I don't want to risk fainting again. Just try and relax and take it easy. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Good. I'll come back and check on you later. Okay, okay thank you. Yep. Yeah.